director of Vatican Observatories in Tulsa for a very special event tonight. The man known as the Pope's Astronomer is speaking at Oral Roberts University, and you don't want to miss it. Well, you sure don't. He's an American Jesuit research astronomer, an author, and he's spoken out about the relationship between faith and science. And Brother Guy Consolmagno, we're on, I said, oh, you only have to say it once, he said. <laughs> Brother Guy. We're honored to have you here with us today. It's a delight to be here. How does, how does someone become the Pope's astronomer? Yes. It is a windy and crazy road. Um, I thought I was going to be a Jesuit when I was going into college. I'd gone to the Jesuit high school in Detroit. I grew up in Detroit. But um, the first time I thought, talked about it, the priest I was talking to said, have you prayed? And, you know, pray, I'm 18 years old. Instead, I felt called to go do science. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I went and studied at MIT, uh, I think partly because they had a great science fiction collection, and worked for many years as an astronomer, but always with this call of, you know, doing something more than just astronomy. Finally, in my late 30s, um, I decided to enter the Jesuits, but as a brother, not a priest. Oh. So I'm not ordained, I don't lead public uh, worship services, but I'm a member of the community, I live the same vows. and. At that point, I'd been a professor of astronomy. So I was thinking they would have me go to a Jesuit university, maybe one with a good basketball team. <laughs> Instead, under obedience, they ordered me that I had to go to Rome, live in the Pope's summer palace, look at all those terrible stars, look at the scenery, eat that awful Italian yeah, food. Yeah, just horrible. It, it's, you know, life is tough. <laughs> yeah. Well, obviously, the Pope thinks that there is some relation between science and religion. A lot of people don't. How do you, how do you? Well, the religion, religion gives me the reason to do the science and the confidence to do the science. I mean, how do we even know that there are laws of physics to be found? Whoever the first person was to look for them had the confidence that there was something there to be seen. And even more, why do we study the universe instead of you know, praying or meditating or doing something else? Well, you can find that right in, in Paul's letter to the Romans. Since the beginning of time, God has revealed himself in the things he created. So to me, doing science is a way of getting closer to God. It's an act of worship. We just had that beautiful uh, blood, a uh, super moon, blood wolf. Uh, <laughs> I can't keep blood track wolf. of the name. Every, every time they come up with another one, they add another name to it. <laughs> but it's so beautiful, and there it is. And I, and I was struck by the fact that, uh, you know, on social media, in the, in, mm -hmm. the, in the New York Times, pictures from all over the world of people taking pictures of this, photographs, standing out and watching it. It is the one thing, despite all of our differences, all over the world, that brings, brings us together, the, you know, looking up at the stars. Exactly. Here in America, we've got probably looking at that same moon, you had Patriots fans and Chiefs fans. That's right. You know, it, it's the one thing that can unite us. Mm -hmm. And exactly. it does, and it's so beautiful. Yeah. So you're speaking tonight at ORU, and mm -hmm. we'll give details about that in just a little bit. What will you talk about? What will... Well, when you talk about science and religion, what I find is that most people think they know what religion is, for better or worse. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's been, certainly been better. But a lot of people don't know what science is. And they forget that they only stopped learning science maybe when they were 12 or 13, exactly. when it was just memorizing answers to get to the end of the book. So what I want to do is to give people a sense of how science actually works and how it is more than rational, it is certainly rational, and you certainly use your reasoning and you certainly use your math, but you also use your soul, you also use your imagination. And I want to show how that underpins the science we do because at the end of the day, astronomy is not about stars and planets. It's about human beings right. and what we have done to learn about stars and planets. Well, you need to hear Brother Guy in person, and you can do that tonight at 7 o'clock. ORU's Global Learning Center. Now, it's free to get in, but you have to reserve your tickets in advance, and you can do that online at the ORU website, maybecenter.com, maybecenter.com. And what a fascinating evening it will be tonight at 7 o'clock with uh, Brother Guy, talking about all things science and religion. It's fascinating. Okay, real quick, how often do you see the Pope? Um, a few times a year. Oh, yeah? I, he recognizes me, but I think it's because of the beard. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for coming in. We sure appreciate it. It's been a delight being here. Okay.